Hello, my name is Eliana, and I will be showing y'all my amplification toolkit. Um, so I'll start off with my toolkit. This is what I purchased just so I could store everything that I need. It's very accessible, um, has a handle and everything. Um, yeah, I took everything out so I could have it easily accessible to me right now. But for the most part, everything in this toolkit is going to be there to maintain and clean the amplification devices um so yeah that's mostly all of its purposes so we'll start off with gloves i have some just disposable gloves so it's like if while you're working with the hearing aid or with the student you're not using your bare hands and you can just go ahead and wear gloves just for sanitary purposes um have alcohol pads so one you can clean your hands before you put on the gloves as well as any of the amplification devices um, just to kind of clean them sanitize them and so forth and then next I have these two items I have the toothbrush and the q-tips this is more for just wiping off debris on the hearing aid um, so if it, there's like any buildup you can just go ahead and wipe it off um, just gentle cleaning you can go ahead and use q-tips as well for all of that to get into those smaller places um, and then moving on to our more of our other stuff. So right here we have our tubes. Tubes, um, they will be used in the hearing aid. And then we have a couple of devices that will help clean these as well. These little pieces attached to the hearing aid, um, which is really nice. And they all come in different shapes and forms. These just happen to be pre-cut and have that thing as well. Um, and so in order to clean these, since they are tubes, you have a couple of devices that you can use. So you can go ahead and use the blower. So if you want to get inside of the tube, you can go ahead and just insert it into the tube and blow out any moisture, any air, any debris that is in there. You can just go ahead and squeeze that and it'll clean it right out. As well as these cleaning wires. So since it is just a really small tube, you can stick that wire in there, kind of go through it, reach any hard places where any buildup or moisture might be happening. Um, and then firstly, before you remove the tubing or before you start cleaning the tubing, you want to remove it first. So you would just use pliers since it is kind of like stuck in there. You would have to use pliers to kind of take it out so you don't damage anything. Um, and then if you're Tubing is not pre-cut and you get like a whole roll of it, you do need scissors as well to cut it, um, which is always good to have. Um, and then over here, continuing on with cleaning, um, we have the um, dry ease. So this is just more to um, make sure that there is no moisture in the hearing aid. That is the enemy of this all. So this will prevent any moisture happening to so you and just stick it in there and it'll dry everything up. And then we have our um, stethoscope, so you would just put these around your ears, and then at this end of it, you would put it in through the hearing aid, um, and then you'll be able to hear what is um, going on and so forth with the hearing aid. And then we also have our batteries, and then our battery tester. So if your battery tester says, oh, that battery is no good, it's no longer working, you have extra batteries on hand to Make sure that all of the hearing aids are properly working before class starts, which is always good. Um, so these will be nice to have to carry once, um, like if a student were to lose hearing in their, or lose battery in their hearing aid. Um, yeah, and then that's what this will demonstrate for you. You would just go ahead and stick your battery in here and then um, you'll be able to see if the battery is good. Um, and then for the student, you have your optoscope. So if you need to check their ears, see if there's any buildup, pain, earwax, anything like that, you can just slightly stick the optoscope in their ear. Gotta be careful with this just because we are not professionally, you know, used or we're not professionally using this. We are not an actual audiologist. We are just a teacher of the deaf. So we gotta be careful when we're using this, but this is just to make sure, if not send them to the nurse, you know. Professionally trained is what I was trying to say. Um, I think I covered mostly everything. Um, but yeah, that is everything in my toolkit. This will be very helpful once um, I start teaching and I have to maintain or clean any of my students' hearing aids or amplification devices. This will be very helpful because I know they're not going to carry it themselves, so I've got to be there to help them in all of that. Thank you.